Alright guys, welcome back to Rapid Responses, and we do have a lengthy comment here from Lost Robot. Explain how Superman is good on the Justice League. I used to dislike Superman, but I put effort into research, and now I understand his character better. But I still think he is a detriment to JL stories. What makes team dynamics interesting is twofold. First, how their abilities work together to make them better as a team, and each of them proving their individual value. Second, how they interact as a team, who gets along and who butts heads, how they need to get past their differences to work together. Superman makes half the JL inferior. Each member would have more involvement and more to do if Superman weren't there. He also gets along with everyone all the time. He has no problems with anyone, and no one has problems with him. To top it all off, he is the leader of the team. The reason why the Avengers and X-Men are interesting is because Cap and Iron Man butt heads, and Wolverine and Cyclops. Cyclops butt heads as well. So am I missing something? Am I wrong? How does Superman work on the Justice League? Or am I right and he should stop being on the Justice League? So this is a very interesting comment because I think more than anything, this actually comes down to the discussion of power scaling, to be honest with you. It's the fact that the level of which these characters are very powerful or not powerful at all is so up and down and all over the place. I think over the years, characters have only gotten more excessively stronger, more ridiculous powerful that what has happened is that makes other characters around say someone like a Superman have to get more powerful as well if you look at these characters from a strictly base level yes Superman could very well potentially defeat the entire Justice League on his own. When it comes to comic books and superhero worlds, I still say to this day that the Justice League is more than likely the strongest team in comic book superhero history. Even without Superman, you have Wonder Woman, you have Martian Manhunter, you have The Flash who has literally become a walking cheat code today. The Justice League would still be extremely powerful and very capable if Superman was not part of the team. But with Superman part of the team, it makes this team up almost unstoppable. No matter the threat this team has to face, they will more than likely just come out on top. Now, the Justice League first debuted in 1960. Funny enough, the cover of their very first comic book issue does not feature Batman or Superman, but they are in fact in the story. However, as you look throughout history, a lot of the very popular Justice League comic covers artwork, wallpapers, whatever it might be. Superman does very often hold center stage. He is leading the fight. Whether or not we feel Superman should be on the team, and even if there are very good reasons as to why he should or shouldn't be, history has somewhat dictated otherwise. Superman has been a member of the Justice League since the very beginning, and throughout history, he's always seen to be one of the most important parts of the team, if not literally the heart of the team. As time has gone on, I think it is just too hard to remove such a pivotal character of the DC Universe and the comic book world out of what I would say is the most popular, most powerful, and most inspirational superhero team of all time. Even ask average fans who might not know comics as much as I or some of you. When they think of Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Superman, a lot of them won't just think of them as individual characters, they also know that they do have ties to a team called the Justice League. As for your first point, their abilities to work together, making them a better team, and proving their individual value, there's truth to this. There are a lot of instances where Superman could hypothetically just 
take on the threat on his own. No need for the Justice League, and it's all said and done. Move on. However, this does all come down to the writer. How powerful is the villain they're facing? And I do find there to be a lot of give and take with this situation. For example, because of how strong Superman is today, because of how some of the other characters have only been upgraded even more in power level, people like Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter, The Flash, even Batman is no regular human anymore. What that means is all these villains that have surrounded these characters before have to be upgraded even more than the heroes. And I think that is why we see so many Superman villains over time become Justice League threats. Because to fight Superman no longer means to simply fight Superman. It now means you have to fight the Justice League. You have two choices. You either fight Superman on his own, who literally has the entire power of a Justice League to himself, or you fight him when he's part of the Justice League. So no matter what happens, these villains need to be escalated to his point or higher. I think this is also a big reason why we deal with so much multiversal crap in canon continuities, because the power levels just keep getting higher and higher and higher, and they need to find excuses on giving more powerful villains than these heroes continue to get. But where I think the detriment really comes in, and it's a big recycled issue here, the stronger Superman gets, the more or the villains have to get on his level or higher, which then in turn means Superman has to find a way to become more powerful than them, which always out of the shadows, out of the darkness, out of somewhere, another villain comes in, which happens to have even more power than the power Superman just obtained, which now means Superman needs to rise to an even larger level and gain more power than the power this villain has than before. It's just a never-ending escalator. Power-wise, with Superman, there is truly no cap to the bottle. For your second point, how they interact as a team and who's getting along. I think quite often the Justice League does get along with one another. If you look throughout history in anything, comic books, animation, whatever it might be, there are instances where characters are always going to argue with one another or be against one another for particular situations. But more or less, I think the Justice League is pretty reliable in that instance. With Superman, he He's not one for conflict, especially against his friends. Even too, when you see who his best friend is with Batman, it is pretty interesting how the guy has been able to keep a level head with somebody who A, doesn't like to work with anyone, or B, doesn't even really like anyone in general. I think the DC Universe is set up in a way where everybody already looks at Superman as the golden boy, as the leader. So no matter what he does or what he says, people will fall in line. People don't want to have a problem with Superman either, because as much as he doesn't want to have a problem with people, if you pick a fight with him, he will destroy you. Superman is honorable, just, and level-headed, so how many people aren't going to interact with him kindly? I mean, if you think about Superman making the Justice League somewhat redundant, how redundant is it when Superman and Batman team up with one another as the world's finest? Why does Superman need Batman there? What exactly makes Batman a useful ally to Superman in these situations? Without Superman part of the Justice League, I still think this team would be strong enough, smart enough, and skilled enough to almost handle any threat that's thrown directly at them. Perhaps it would make this team have to think outside the box a little more often than they currently do. Perhaps this team would struggle a little bit more, or would be tested without knowing that they can just rely or fall back on Superman all the time. 
time. But at the end of the day, I think the importance of Superman's character and the history he already has with the Justice League, he will forever be a main member, just like Batman. Wonder Woman, Flash, and Green Lantern. Those are just four characters you simply cannot play around with. These will always be the faces that we will see amongst the team. And let alone the Justice League, Superman is not just seen as the leader, he is seen as the number one superhero on Earth. And it's really hard to find a justification on why someone like Superman should not be on the most important and inspirational team of all time. Well, I hope I had some solid points to add to this comment, and now as per usual, everyone leave in the comments below what you think about this situation. Should Superman be part of the League, or should he not? However, Lost Robot, thank you for commenting, and everyone, I hope you all enjoyed the video. But that's all I have for you on this one, so until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.